It's good to be with you today. I'd like to take a few moments to spend some time with you in the Book of Concord, uh, especially in Luther's large catechism. The section we're going to spend time with today is from his small little part on infant baptism, where he answers a number of questions about baptizing babies and baptizing young people and how does faith work and all of that. But here he takes up a question of what happens if, what happens when, you sin after you're baptized. Does that mean your baptism was no longer good, that the benefits you had then are gone because you soiled, you stained it, you ruined it? Listen to what Luther says. I say this to correct the opinion, which has long prevailed among us, that baptism is something past that we can no longer use after falling back into sin. He then lists where the idea comes from. And he says, This takes away the value of baptism, making it of no further use to us. Therefore, it's incorrect to say this. The ship does not break up because, as we said, it is God's ordinance and not something that is ours. But it does happen that we slip and fall out of the ship. However, those who do fall out should immediately see to it that they swim to the ship and hold fast to it until they climb aboard again and sail on it as before. He uses this analogy of a ship. That if the gifts and benefits that we have received in baptism is a ship that we sail on every single day of our life, that just because we sin doesn't mean that the entire ship is torn to pieces or deteriorates because it's not about us. God is the one who in our baptisms made that ship for you and I to ride on, to sail on. And sometimes when we sin, when we fall away, if you will, we get off the ship. But the ship is still there. It's still there for you and for I to come back to, to swim back to, to cling to, to come back on board as we confess our sins as we receive forgiveness. What a beautiful image of what it means to live a baptismal life. That our baptism, the day in which you were forgiven your sins and made to be a child of God, is not just a one-moment thing that is done and now you can ruin it if you sin. But that it's something that is sure and certain each day of your life something that you can always come back to because God is the one who's established it and God is the one who is sustaining it for you. Let me pray for you today. Father, we thank you. We praise you for your gift of baptism, that in it you claim us to be one of your own, that in it you give to us faith through the Holy Spirit, and the forgiveness of our sins. When we fall away, when we get off the ship of faith, when we sin, bring us back quickly. Bring us back through repentance, through the absolution. Use your church, use your people to bring those who have been baptized and have fallen away back to the ship that is their faith in you. Use us, Lord, however you see fit. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you today.